Hey, what's up, guys? It's Andrew, and today I'm going to be showing you Uberish for your Mac. Now, it's a German app that pretty much means overview, and what it does is it adds HTML5 widgets to your desktop. So, it is not hosted on the App Store because it is it does modify your desktop environment. So, you're going to have to download the archive that's linked in the description below. And after you have that downloaded, go ahead and open it up. It should be in your downloads folder. See, mine's right here. Go ahead and unzip it with any kind of unarchiver that you have. And after it is unzipped, you are going to want to move it to your applications folder. All right, now that it's installed, go ahead and open up the applications folder and open it up. You're not going to have anything pop up on your screen. You're just going to have a new menu bar icon. So to add widgets, you're going to open the widgets folder. And you can download any of the widgets that are hosted on their website. Or you go ahead and make your own, whichever one you want. Just the link to the website is in the description below, so be sure to check that out. Now, in this case, I'm going to add the menu bar widget that I found online. Go ahead and unzip the archive that you download for each widget and make sure that it turns into a folder with a dot widget extension. Now, you're going to just copy that over to the widgets folder and then just automatically refresh and display on your desktop. If not, you can always tap refresh all widgets from the menu bar icon. Now you can't drag and drop the widget anywhere you want on your desktop. You're going to actually have to edit a file and that is the index.cov file that you have in the widget folder. So go ahead and open that with any text editor. And in this case, I'm going to be using text edit that comes out on the Mac. So you get no fancy software that you have to download as well. So what you're going to be looking for in the index file is the position. Most of them have it highlighted or have a different header for that. But you just going to look for something that has either top, right, left, or bottom, and then just change the pixel value to anything you want. In this case, I'll just go ahead and move it down from the top and just keep it right at the left. Once you save the file, the changes will be um, seen in real time. You can see here that the memory bar moved down and to the left. So this you can change it to anything you want. Just be sure to know the resolution of the screen because that if you do anything greater than that resolution, it won't be displayed on your device. To check that out, all you have to do is go to About This Mac, go to More Info, and then check your resolution under the display header. Alright guys, you're going to do it for Ubersitch. Go ahead and make sure to check out the full guide linked in the description. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.